Hey yo, make sure y'all go subscribe to my personal engineer new channel, The Smoking Engineer. Shit, Liddy, go do it right now, ASAP, tap in. One of the most common and frequently asked questions that I get as an industry mixing and mastering engineer is how do I get an artist's vocal to sit right in the mix? Beware of all of the presets and templates that are out there. There is no manual or one-all solution to a vocal mix. I've been mixing and mastering Cassidy for about three to four years now, and one of the biggest compliments I get from him and other legendary artists of his caliber is that I just have a knack for properly balancing out a mix and still having the vocals have a prominent and dominant presence along with the instruments being balanced and the percussion, that proper bang that we love in today's modern mixes. So you know what to do. Roll one up and meet me over in the next video. This is the new episode of Smoking Engineer, how professionals process vocals to send them right in the mix. Let's get it. Y'all know what it is, man. Welcome back to the Smoking Engineer Master Mix Sessions. I'm your host, Industry Engineer, Trackman. Make sure you follow me at Trackman Forever. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Continue to help us grow. I want to thank all the fans and the subscribers thus far. Y'all already know how I do it, man. The strain of the day that I'm hitting on today is none other than my guy Cassidy. He has his own strain. It's called Goat Breath. So if you hadn't had a chance to get any of that yet, Make sure you go to GoatGangCBD.com. On there, you can see all the smoking accessories and the gummies, and uh, also the Purple Goat THC syrup that's on there, the can of syrup that's on there. Once again, GoatGangCBD.com. All the merch is there, smoking accessories, everything that you need, every uh, smoker's dream, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to my boy Cassidy. Goat breath is that strain. Now today's video, we're gonna talk about how to process vocals. Everyone has uh, their own method, but one thing that never changes is the principles and the basics of what to do to a vocal to make sure it stands out in the mix. Now we are about to jump into this video. Y'all already know how this goes, man. If you have a session that needs to be mixed or a mix that you just need mastered, who doesn't want a guy named Track mixing and mastering their tracks, right? XVIProMastering at gmail.com. Send that right over. Uh, and one of our reps will get back to you as soon as possible. I also want to take a second to shout out my guy, Al Capone, Al Capizzi, oh boy. Make sure you go to whoopthatrick.com and order your brand new Whoop That Trick sweatshirt. If you are supporting the Grizzlies this year, man, go Grizz. Y'all already know the business. Once again, that's whoopthatrick.com, trackmanforever.com. Y'all make sure y'all visit those pages. Now let's get on these vocals. Meet me in Pro Tools. All right, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at this session. This is one of Cassidy's records that's already released to all the platforms. It's called Lullaby. Uh, go check it out on all platforms. Bump that. You know what I'm saying? Just know that when you do, it was mixed and mastered by your boy. Uh, since we're talking about vocals, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Cassidy's session as a reference so you guys can see what I actually do to the vocals in a mix. Let's take a listen. Hey, yo, Carter, you going crazy. Go gang. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slug of fly. I might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. A this lullaby. nigga ain't never touched the pie, but to lift his right hand to the fucking sky. This nigga bugging me fucking high, so I wrote this nigga a lullaby. A lullaby. His only option is duck or die. Yeah. On hood if it's beef, I'm good in the street, so ain't no more opening up his eyes. Cause I wrote this nigga a lullaby. Put him to sleep. Smack him to wake him up, then the butt of the gun put him back to bed. Big. Smack him. All right, now, as you can tell, there's already been some processing done. Now, when I first originally got this session, my guy Mac does all the recording, um, and he kind of knows how the room is treated and everything. So there's some things that are placed there that I never get rid of. I have to always pay respect to the sound that Cassidy has fallen in love with or any other artist has fallen in love with before it gets to the mixing and mastering engineer. In one of my other videos, I explained how to, to properly duck the sub bass up under the kick uh, that process is applied to this video, I mean, applied to this session as well, but we're not gonna go back over that. You can uh, go check out the other video if you wanna see that. We're gonna focus straight on the vocals. So if we go here, to the top of the session. Let's play it one more time. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. 
Now, already you can see that I've had, like I said, I have some processing going on on this vocal already. But what we are going to do is we're going to completely get rid of those two, those, uh, these two buses right here. We're going to mute them for right now, just so you can hear that raw vocal one more time. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. You might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga hand never touched the pie, but the... All right, so we're going to bypass these as well. Um, just so you can get a, a full A-B uh, comparison about what's going on. Remember, all of the principles that you have already learned thus far, bring those into mixes with you. So you may have learned something yesterday. Don't be afraid to, uh, to apply it to today's theories. So these EQs that are already placed on the top of the vocals, I'm going to leave them there. Um, and let's take a listen one more time without any processing or plugins on the vocal. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. I see how dry that vocal like is. Guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga hand never touched the pie, but to lift his right hand to the fucking sky. Okay, as you can see here, we have uh, back and forth with these vocals. This is a line. This is uh, this is a line. This is kind of common for for a lot of artists. Uh, Cassidy does it as well. Um, He'll layer line per line like that. So the first thing we're gonna do is I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could now I do have um these uh plugins kind of attached to the vocal, and one of them is just simply the CLA vocal. Um and you can look at my settings here. Being that it is the chorus of the song, I do want to make it different from the verse. The verse is kind of straight at you down the middle. And the the uh the hook vocals, I want to make sure that they're there, but they have some kind of dimension right there. So here on the CLA, I have the wide set and um I have the quarter set and it really turned down. Now the tempo for this is 127, I believe. Um, and usually I have time it. Um have time the tempo but i'm going to leave it as is because what this uh what this delay is going to actually do is give me a kind of a slap back uh delay that's on the, the vocal a uh, little bit of the tight room reverb here but turned all the way down the bite and the push are uh kind of at zero and taking all the sub out so that's what we have here on these prominent to uh, these two lead vocals of the chorus. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga hand never touched the... See, right there in that A-B example, you can hear as I deactivate the plugins, you can already begin to tell uh, uh, the difference of what's going on. Now, we do have these vocals. All of these vocals are patched out to a, uh, to a bus that we have here, and it is called Cast Box. Uh, so let's rename that right there, cast box bus. And let's get our blunt back up. Goat breath, man. GoatGangCBD.com. Make sure y'all go get it, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so once again, here we are with this bus. Now, we have these vocals patched over to this bus. Check it out. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys. All right, now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually unbypass this patch of uh, plugins that I have on our bus, and I'm going to go through what some would call a vocal chain. I don't really call it a vocal chain because sometimes I give and take, but these processes are ones that I follow. I learned from a lot of dope engineers in my day and time, um, and I learned what I couldn't do so I could not be limited by the things that I could do, right? All right, so let's uh, let's turn the power off on all of these plugins except for the first one. The first one I have on is the vocal writer. Um, and these um, these buses are in stereo, of course, because we're going to have things panning left and right when we get done. So that stereo uh, that for these processes are, bus, are stereo buses. All right, so the first plug-in is the vocal writer. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga you ain't never touched the, the pie, but he lift his right hand to the fucking sky. Like at the sky. top of the this lowest nigga part of the vocal. High, so I wrote this nigga a lullaby. His only option is duck or die. And I have a fast beef, I'm setting the street, right there. So no more opening up his eyes. And I kind of got the sensitivity right there. I think I have my heavy set to five and negative five so that that fader continues to, you know, keep pushing and trying to match that that level back and forth uh, automatically just in that first plug-in. And this is not rocket science. It's just, pre, you know, preference and uh, information that we're passing back down. You know what I'm saying? So 
If you have if you have a different kind of uh, plug-in that you like to use instead of the vocal writer, just put it there in the comments, man. You know what I'm saying? I love collaboration. But I'm just giving you my perspective and my processes of how I process vocals. All right, the next one is the C6. Let's go over here. Uh, I usually have this set to male dialogue. Um, and let's take a listen as we dial in some settings. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga. All right. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger right. fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, oh. but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. All this right. nigga hand never touched and the already, bar, but the lift his right kinda, hands to the fucking sky. You can kind of see now, I like to pull some of this, this mid out, and then I like to give him a little air right there um, on that frequency. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut. All right, the next thing in my chain um, is the de that I have here. Um... And so if you pay attention, I have it set to the female DS split. That's my favorite. Uh, for really, for most definitely for Kansas vocals, um, he's very upfront and on that mic and those, that's, those sibilance frequencies are easy to, to creep in with him. Uh, but we got those under control. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other See, guys, but I... One thing most definitely to do too is to is to turn up turn up something, a threshold all the way, or turn the threshold all the way down and ease it back up until you get that sweet spot that you like to hear. Check it. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga hand never touched the pie, but to lift his right hand to the fucking sky. This nigga bugging me fucking high, so I wrote this nigga a lullaby. His only option is duck or die. On her if it's beef, I'm good in the street, so ain't no more opening up his eyes. Cause I wrote this nigga a lullaby. Smack him to wake him up, then the butt of the gun put him back to bed. All right, one more I, time. I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might... All right. Sounds great to me, right? All right, now keep following the chain. We have the vocal writer, C6, the RDSer. So this next this next plugin I have in is the R compressor uh, stereo version. Now I like the vocal hug preset and make some adjustments from there. Once again, if you have another uh, plugin that you like or think would be dope in this particular step, uh, may just leave a comment. At, uh, just leave a comment down in the comment box, man, and I'll get back to you and let's discuss it. I love to collaborate, so let's do it. So let's check this vocal out now. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like oh. them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga hand never touched the pie, but to oh. lift his right hand to the fucking sky. This nigga bugging me fucking high, so I wrote this nigga a lullaby. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga hand never touched the pie, but to lift his right hand to the fucking sky. This nigga bugging me fucking high, so I wrote this nigga a lullaby. His only option is duck or die. On All right, I love that there. Now, the last thing that I put in my chain is usually the R Vox, um, and I got it set to a good vocal. So when you uh, you will see, and I just kind of, it's usually on five, nine on that preset, but I just put it to six just because I got this weird thing about even numbers. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga hand never... All right, once again, you can see how this vocal is already sticking out, but you really can't tell the reference because there's no instrumental in there. But I'm going to let you hear this in a few minutes as we A-B it to let you get a different perspective of what's happening here. Now, once again, the vocal writer, the C6, the RDS or the R compressor, and uh, top that off with the R Vox. Um, and then what I do from there is I usually uh, bus every bus vocal to another bus that I have. And I always call it the last compressor, which is basically a limiter, right? So uh, we have that going out to the last compressor right here and then going out to the sub mix. So the sub mix here should be red just so I could always tell the difference. Uh, let's save that. All right, so let's look at this. I, I, I can't even fucking Routing lie. Out to he this could last get cut compressor. or a slugger fly. Now, what I have on here is simple L2. Now, three, between two, seven, and three, five, three, six, excuse me, it's like uh, between two, seven, and three, five, three, six is kind of like a sweet spot for vocals. But I like mine, I like the three mark, uh, the two, two, nine mark. Let's check it. And then this threshold, we're going to 
kind of make some adjustments. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga hand never touched the pie, but the lift his right hand to the fucking sky. This nigga bugging me fucking high, so I wrote this nigga a lullaby. His only option. All right, so we're going to look at these side vocals that are actually on there, right? Let's check them out. I, I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this lullaby. All right, now this is no secret of what's going on here. Um, I do want to let it be known that these are the side vocals. Cassidy's usually a, a one-take kind of guy. Uh, it's definitely a syllable samurai, you know what I'm saying? So he doesn't have to do a lot of vocal takes, but when he does do something for the chorus, I usually like them to be panned hard left and hard right. A main vocal down the middle and any ins and outs or fillers panned hard left and right, especially the ins and outs, okay? So let's check, take a listen. I can't even fucking lie. Slugger fly. Other guys. Now, another thing that I have going on right here, and I have them, I'm gonna um, bypass them. Uh, I will have a C6 on these side vocals, and I'll set it to backing, which kind of just takes uh, some of the the same frequencies that are out of the lead vocal and just kind of moves them to the higher end a little bit to kind of make them stand out. Let's listen. I can't even fucking lie. Now, I'm gonna, uh, listen, listen to that one more time. I can't even fucking lie. Slugger fly. Other guys, lullaby. Let's listen to the hook now with all the tracks enabled. I, I can't even fucking lie. He could get cut or a slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. This nigga hand never touched the pie, but the- All right, now we know we do have some ad libs and stuff here. Let's get down here and unmute these, and I'll show you what I did to these in the process. Slugger fly. He might think I'm like them other- And then I have this telephone preset. You see this here on the Fat Filter Pro Q3. Um, I really don't like these peaks like this as much but uh, it can be contained, you know what I'm saying? So let's listen. Like a fly, he might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. A this lullaby. nigga hand never touched. All right, now, uh, what I have here added onto that track is the same wideness in that ad lib and a chamber reverb right there, pretty much. Um, you maybe could add some delay, but I think that I may get in the way of the lead vocal, so I kind of left that out. Taking things and carving things away um, is a better approach than just stacking things on top of each other, thinking that you're going to accomplish a particular sound. So anyway, you can see here uh, the same bite and the push is at zero again. Let's, let's take a listen back one more time. Like a fly, he might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. A this lullaby. nigga hand never touched the pie, but the lift his right hand to the fucking sky. This nigga bugging me fucking high, so I wrote this nigga a lullaby. A his lullaby. only option is duck or die. On hood if it's beef, I'm good in the street, so ain't no more opening up his eyes, cause I wrote this nigga a lullaby. Put him to sleep. Smack him to wake him up, then the butt of the gun put him back to bed. Big. Smack him. All right, let's go back to the chorus one more time because that's what we have most of the processing on thus far. So I want you to be able to hear the difference, okay? Like a fly. You might think I'm like them other guys, but I wrote this nigga a lullaby. Oh, this lullaby. nigga hand never touched the pie, but the lift his right hand to the fucking sky. This nigga bugging me fucking high, so I wrote this nigga a lullaby. See right there, you can already tell as I A, B, and give you the comparison how when I turn the plugins off, those vocals drop completely. Then when I add them back on, they rise back up into the mix. Let's take a listen. Smack them to wake them up. Then the butt of the gun put them back to bed. Smack them again with the ratchet again. To make sure the pussy not acting dead. I'm out here getting that trap of bread. But lately been feeding the crack ahead. I'm with the smoke. I give it up and I don't give a fuck what the rapper said. Niggas is lying. Niggas denying the fact that they stealing. I'm back in my feelings. I can rap on any track that I'm feeling. And rappers ain't clapping. They actually swilling. I can't believe all my rap should be stealing. Before you did that, I was actually chilling. You cannot take from a natural villain and think that it won't be. Your actual killing, yeah. What? This year, mine getting chicken, take up my spare time, and I share time with my old gas. Cause we go back like your hairline. You out here, line. I've been.
been the truth when I'm in the booth You not finna shoot when you ride up I get you tied up like a business suit That diss was cute but you kept it short like your height yo It's a height though Your head look like it got Botox And your face look like it got lipo If we fight bro, good night bro I'm teeing off like a tight Who doesn't want a guy named Track mixing your tracks, right? So that's what it is, man This is The Smoking Engineer I'm your host, Track Man And y'all know what it is It's been a blast And uh, man, you know, if you want the smoke Come holler at the Smoking Engineer Master Mix Sessions right here live on YouTube. This is what we do. Let's get it.